Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, will you please tag on your only swimming, please? Well, I'm a labor right friend, them. Good morning. This has nothing to do with taking side in politics, but this morning I have to address the Prime Minister because he might address me in a speech, but he not call me name. Defense with me and him now. He has to be politically careful on what he must say. Me not have to do that. Me can tell him straight, say he may attack. He may talk about some people can take up a microphone in our party or pick up a cell phone and mislead people and give them the wrong impression. Andrew, me not give nobody misleading um, information. Me not lead nobody to the wrong way. You are doing things that are not right. You understand? So, more everybody talk Andrew Ollis now. It would be beautiful. It would be amazing. If my Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Olness, because I'm my Prime Minister, whether I'm a PNP or Labour, that doesn't count right now. He is my Prime Minister and he's the boss of the country. So I have to address him as such. Zin, he is my Prime Minister. Zin? So, it would be beautiful if Andrew Olness could join the live and make me and him have a one on one discussion. You cannot go in a parliament and not go into the house and not talk every day and not talk to the street. I was appointed by the street. I am from the people, for the people. You are beating around the bush and you are holding discussions in the House of Parliament without anybody responding to you. All you do is make speech and people are not table. That is not conversation. That is not dialogue. That is you presenting what you want to say without nobody to say what they want to say. Me at the street come have a discussion with the street make me and your dialogue and reason out the situation because me I speak on behalf of the people and we can't speak you understand me I talk on behalf of the people them we cannot reach out to you them not have your number them they know how to talk to you when me talk you see it because based on your speech it's obvious so you know what foot I've said you, you now watch from your page, but you watch from one of your assistant page or one of your work on them page. But you watching what's going on. And me need for me and you have a conversation because who are advise you for the things need to be fired. Whosoever advise you and I help you write your speech them, or if you are do it yourself, you need to get proper advice. So me need to talk to you this morning, Mr. Andrew Wallace. I am not being disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful. I I want to try my best today and not use any profanity. Cause I know I I know I am going to be addressing the Prime Minister. Whether you answer or not, me know you're gonna watch it. I mean know them are gonna tell you. I mean know you're gonna look right now for one of your assistant phone or somebody running phone. So I'm just saying I'm going to speak to my phone as if I am speaking to the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Remember, when you first came into power, I am a PNP, but I was pleased to see you as a new person were from Olympic Way and them say a garrison man and you understand the ghetto and you come with all of these ghetto slangs and all of these things. I was very interested to see what great changes you are going to make. But so far you have done jack. You have done nothing. See? Um, beautiful African princess. Anina. You might not understand. The power of social media. So you are here saying. If me think Andrew Wallace now. Not to do. And if me think Andrew Wallace watch nothing. Yes he does. And yes, I've been approached by members of Andrew Olness, um team multiple times. And we have had um, discussions multiple times. And I have advised them on setting up a dialogue with me and the Prime Minister multiple times. But because he's the Prime Minister, maybe because of ego, he doesn't think he needs to listen to the street. Well, I am telling you, 
Nothing exists without the streets. Artists don't exist without the street. Politician that exists without the street. The private sector organization of Jamaica does not exist without the street. The garrison and the ghetto them are the core heartbeat of Jamaica. As a matter of fact, the garrison, the ghetto them is the heartbeat of any country because the rich thrive off of the poor. That's how it works. If poor people don't pick up their song and run with it, if they get on and run with their song, it can't. It. If they get on a vote for Andrew, it can't win. If they get on a vote for Portia, she can't win. I say it work. The, the population of poor people is way more than the upper class. So they need to understand that. See? No wholesale can't run without ghetto people are buying. No Casco, no Mega Man, no nowhere. Because the rich is a smaller number than the poor. So the poor generates all the wealth that the rich need. You understand? Okay. Missy say that person your name, whatever your name, on a nine cent. Can the same I do a great job because of COVID. Andrew has been doing what he's doing before COVID. See? Andrew, a pressure entertainment and Jamaica people before COVID nineteen. That's why we had a campaign. No music, no vote. Please remember, it was before COVID that Andrew was pressuring the music. Zin? All right. I think what is happening with Andrew is Andrew is not being advised properly. He's not being advised properly. Now, first thing, as the Prime Minister of the country, you cannot and it's unacceptable for you to come out and blatantly blame one sector of people for the spread of COVID-19. Now, a lot of people say, watch a whole video. I watched the entire video. And at no point did Mr. Andrew Oles, my Prime Minister, your Prime Minister, he did not share the blame with the garrison people and the uptown people. He totally never mentioned anything that the upper class did to spread COVID-19. He deliberately pointed out all things that warrant to get up people. The alpha bread, uptown people don't buy alpha bread. Nowhere uptown not sell alpha bread. Zine, Big Jilla Isle not sell uptown. Nowhere at all. You understand? Chicken back not sell up town. You understand me? So all these things that he pointed out have to do with ghetto people. So basically you are saying, Mr. Prime Minister, it's the ghetto people who are responsible for spreading this dangerous um, disease all over the country. And that's unacceptable. It's utter disrespect. I mean, you know, who else cool with it? But me not cool with it. And obvious half of Jamaica is not cool with it. You were very disrespectful. You owe the Jamaican public a public apology. You cannot give a written apology neither. Because you were speaking on a platform. You need to go back on a platform and apologize to the people who put you in power. Because it's not the uptown people that put you in power, sir. It's the same half of bread people, them. The same big Jilla Isle people, them. The people that we buy chicken back and chicken parts. And them gear the vote. No, it's a disrespect, whether you want to like it or not. It's a disrespect. And you owe the public an apology. If, if, if the Prime Minister had come out and said, a lot of these people going to the corner shop, buying half a bread, buying big jilla aisle, buying pound of chicken back, buying two pound of rice, help spread the COVID-19 virus along with these uptown people keeping parties in them yard, dock up how much boat out of Key West, and now we're in a protocol, now we're in a mass. Both sectors are contributing to the spread of COVID-19. Then we would have a problem with your brother. We would have a problem with what you say. You did not point out not even one thing that the uptown people have done that's not following protocol. You didn't even mention one. So blatantly, blatantly you are blaming 
garrison ghetto people for the spread of COVID-19. You understand what I'm saying? You understand? It's a, it's a disrespect. It's a blatant disrespect to one sector of the society. You cannot single out one sector of the society and leave the next sector. That's disrespectful. That's not acceptable, bro. Bro, God, that is not acceptable. Uptown people that follow protocol, them have them big yard with them pool. Them have hundreds of people in there. A party around them pool, cook food, eat, drink, everything. Who no business? Why they out of Key West and about 50 boats out there? All politicians pick me out there, party on the boat them. Eh? All politicians pick me out there, party on the boat them. Me not hear you complain about that. Me not hear you say nothing about that. Um, beautiful African princess Nina. Yes, I don't go get a people him say spread COVID. I mean, never hear him say nothing about the uptown. So, based on what he said, yes, I get the people alone. He said, corner shop people. No corner shop, not they're uptown. No wholesale, not they're uptown. Yeah. So, so, me, I said, that's disrespectful. Very disrespectful. And, Mr. Wallace, no disrespect. You owe the public an apology. You can't use ego. You are the leader of the country. Don't use ego. You don't bigger than to win back the trust of the people. Them and make the people them know say. You never mean it in other way. You say it. And you're sorry if the nation take it the wrong way, but that's not what you meant. At least come give it a give it a give it a um that look of respect there as the people them put you in power. You understand what I mean? So hear me I say now. Hear me I say now. Andrew, after I put out the um fed up challenge, Zin, why don't listen to me now, people? Zin, after I put out the fed up challenge, me see um statement come out say the Prime Minister is promising to give the entertainment sector money because we lose a whole heap of money in a, the pandemic Zin Raz, big up yourself brother so me not a problem it sounds very exciting that the Prime Minister wants to give back a helping and to who lose money from the entertainment sector. Also, no again, anybody will advise the Prime Minister for said that for lose them job. People, please, more on the take time with the comment them little bit and listen what me I say. I am an entertainer. Me should have excited to hear the Prime Minister say, he want to give back some money to entertainment because we lose money in the entertainment. Zin, Andrew, Andrew, make we look into this now. Mr. Oles. I'm not style as Andrew. Now I call it by your first name. So Mr. Oles. The ideology to tell the people that you're going to give back money to entertainment because you see Futa Hype has started a wave with the Fed Up Challenge and people are repost the video. You realize, say, you realize, say, the entertainment industry so powerful. That's them can turn the entire country against you. That's why now, you are saying now, you get entertainment money. All right. Give you the benefit of the doubt. You are going to get entertainment money. Make sure you are not make no sense now what you are saying. What tier are you going to start giving money? What category? Because if you are, remember, you know, and I like when you are giving money for vote this, you know, if you get a vote of five or ten grand, that can work. Because you just give regular people money. In the entertainment industry, you have tier and you have levels to this. So make a reason now and show you why your advisor them now make no sense. 
Because if them advise you to come tell the people them that, them not in a sense that you have to fire them. Because them are going to make you lose your seat as prime minister. Them are going to make you come address the public and talk rubbish all the time. See? So let's reason now. If you are going to mention the youth, they are park care alone in an entertainment. So you give them 10 grand each. Remember, one year had we in a pandemic. And the money now make. Because no dance not really keep and the stage show not really keep. See? So, the car park you them alone. We park here. So, you give them 10, 10 grand then. You don't think they make more than 10 grand over one year? You think that can help them? You think 10 grand can, 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 can warrant nothing in an entertainment? Talk the truth now. How much you plan for the entertainer now? If you say it's a feasible amount of money for the one year I had with them to work. The proposal the way you make. All that makes sense. Oh, you got to do that now. Oh, can you make the proposal like we're going to frighten and say, oh, Jesus, and you say, he might go give money. What, what are you talking about? What kind of money are you speaking of? See? So the street youth, them, if you ever give them 10, 10 grand, that's not feasible. Make we go into promotion now. Like a man like Father with you, we keep up to on Mondays every Monday. Listening up. A man like Father Witty, we keep up to on Mondays every Monday. For one year and add up to on Mondays, not keep. How much money would you give to Father Witty for barely more than debt? How much money would I give Father Paul? We keep wedding wedding Wednesday every Wednesday. For one year and add. No ready ready no keep. How much you that give Father Paul as a bailout? Don't pick up where you can't manage no Mr. Andrew Wallace. Cause that's what you say you're gonna do. You cannot do it. It's impossible for you to do it. So when them propose for you do that, it not make no sense. Anybody advise you to come tell the public that is an idiot. And you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't come say that, brother. Cause that cannot work. Alright, make we go bigger. Because we go Father Paul, ready, ready. We go Uptown Mondays. We don't talk about DRF Thursday yet. We don't talk about Magnum Wednesday yet. Zin? We don't talk about Rooks event. We don't talk about Authorized event yet. The month of event. We don't talk about Bossy Tuesday yet. Zin? That are just event. That are just Kingston. Alright. Make we go Uptown. Dream weekend. We don't get for keep. One year ad now. Dream weekend one party make all 400,000 US. One. Remember Dream weekend have a series of party. Like five, six different parties for the weekend. One party sometimes make 400,000 US. How much would you give to Dream weekend as a bailout? If you say them are suffer from pandemic and you are help them out. Tell me now, Andrew, please. Please, just tell me. Jumping up and making wild statement don't work. Somebody's very stupid. Somebody said America give the people them six hundred dollar and fourteen hundred dollar. That have nothing to do with the entertainment sector, my brother. Andrew Olness says he's going to give money for the entertainment sector. So don't talk to me about American regular people. You're talking about people now who make money off entertainment. So if you don't understand the reasoning, shut your mouth and keep your finger them quiet. Okay. So what I'm saying is now, how much money would Andrew Wellness give Dream Weekend for a bailout? Talk to me now, man. How much? How much? You want to go deeper in the entertainment then? You want to go deeper? How much money Andrew Wallace should have given Bounty Killer and Beanie Man as a bailout? We are make 30 or 40 thousand US after each virtual show. Them man they will collect all a million dollars for some person and them something. How much would you give them for a bailout for one year and add where them not work? How much? 
that means Andrew, Mr. Olis, your statement that you projected yesterday that you're going to give money for entertainment, you're just trying to shut up the people. You cannot do it. You better I make Miss Babsy Grinch tell him how entertainment thing go. Brother, how much you gonna compensate a man like Busy Signal or a man like Sean Paul? We are work them work as much as hundred and thousand dollar per gig. Busy go Africa get show for hundred and thousand US. Me knows busy do show at Jamaica where him get five million dollar. So, how much bailout can you give these people, Andrew? You cannot. You don't have it. Sean Paul. We get him regular hundred and thousand dollar show US. Oh, oh. Where you gonna get him for one year what I know work? If you not show now keep for one year at because of this pandemic thing. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes them say we are beat the Prime Minister when I give advice. Right? Yeah, but Man like popcorn, we are charged 50 and 60 grand a show. Zin, you have Vegas, them we are charged elephant, them. How much money you can give an artist now? We say, oh, we know it's been rough during the pandemic and the government are helping you out. How much money you think I can? You think I can give the artist 10 grand and 20 grand? You think I buy for what this? You, you think I buy for what? So when you come with a little, little, um, style, about you are going to get entertainer money dog. Like, the fuck you talking about? Oh, sorry. I never want to see the money. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Sorry. No disrespect, my boss. Because remember, you know, Andrew, you are my prime minister. You know? Whether I like it or not, you are my prime minister. But we have to make you understand, say, who are advised you need to get fire. And if you are advised yourself, seek help. Brother, you can call me, you no. Know? You can link me like, oh, your you them love link link me in. I'm here you talk in a brother. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, bring come now. Yeah. I want the bread and butter. Some bread and butter too, yeah. Bread and butter? Yeah. Yo, the rye bread, the healthy bread here. Yeah, so as I mean, no remember so I talk about promoter to enough people. I'm not talking about uncle. But me I tell you say, Andrew care the pay after care park you them alone. You understand me, I say? Not even that alone. You understand me, I say, Bridget? So, how much you gonna give a man like busy with charge 100 and gonna show? And that me I try to understand. Yo, we have to give advice, because the Prime Minister in a serious spot, right? Alright. Based on the speech where the Prime Minister said, people want to pay attention to me, I say, no. Because me I pay attention. Based on the speech where the Prime Minister said, see him and him style get up people. Him say the hospitals don't have enough bed. The hospitals are not equipped for the pandemic and the cases. Right? Well, Mr. Andrew Wallace, you not pay me and you me, me not work for you. But me I go give you some solid, valid advice now. See? One of the main reasons people pay attention. One of the main reasons why the hospitals cannot facilitate all the cases is because, one, even in rural Jamaica, when people have certain injuries and certain casualties, them cannot stay at the hospital in them parish. Them have to go to Kingston Hospital. They have to go to a public hospital I don't have to go to UA hospital. No, that's where the problem is. Mr. Olness, that money that you are planning. Uh, so she already made a cup of butter and crackers? No, no, bread more. Bread, 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 bread. Zin, Mr. Olness, we have a reason now. Zin, I'm going to show you something. See, I'm a breakfast reach and I can't touch it. Yet. Hear me, I say now, Mr. Olness, more you understand this. When somebody gets injured in Montego Bay and them have to carry them at Kingston, go put in a hospital, then you have too much patients in a Kingston hospital. 
The reason why them have to carry them at Kingston is because there is not the equipment in Cornwall Regional or Westmoreland Hospital or to facilitate the injury. So them have to pack up the country people them, pan top of the town people them, in a Kingston, in a UE or public hospital. No. No, Mr. Wallace, listen what I want you to do. And this would make more sense. You see that money that you claim to say, you have got promise. Entertainer, we are entertainer. Yes, we lose money since pandemic. But we're not so hungry and we're not so broke. We can still survive a little bit. Because two little things are keep a foreign and two little things and, you know, entertainer still have the two little duplicate and things. Here, what more you do? You see that money there, where that plan to give back to entertainment, don't give entertainment. We can wait a little bit. Can you be